better than a ham and cheese sandwich? A hot ham and cheese sandwich, made even better when it's tucked inside a buttery flaky dough. So today we're using Pillsbury Seamless Crescent Dough Sheets to kind of just fold up a perfect ham and cheese sandwich. So we're elevating the humble ham and cheese by wrapping it up in a pocket and also by adding a homemade apple and onion jam that comes together super fast. So I have just a pan heating over about medium heat and I'm gonna get about a tablespoon of olive oil into that pan. And then into this goes one thinly sliced onion, just a yellow onion shaved super thin. And then also a nice crisp apple that I've peeled and cut into matchsticks. So to add a little more flavor, I'm going to strip some fresh thyme leaves right into our pan just to add some great background flavor. Well, my apples and onions caramelized, let's work on our dough. We are using a crescent seamless dough sheet, which is basically one nice smooth sheet of dough. Super easy to work with, and we don't have to worry about mending together crescent dough triangles. So this just twists off really easily. And then we are just going to unroll this onto a board and cut it into four rectangles. And these will be the perfect wrapper for our hot ham and cheese pockets. Okay, now that our apples and onions have softened up, we can add a couple tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, which I think really adds a nice tang to this. Acidity and just really good flavor that plays against the sweetness of the apples and the onions. So a couple tablespoons of that, and then also a little bit of water just to kind of help keep the onions from burning and keep the sugars from getting scorched. And we'll just stir that up, give this a nice heavy seasoning with salt and pepper. So again, you can take liberties with whatever you want to put in here, but I'm using four thick slices of a black forest ham. And these actually fit just perfectly in these pockets. All right, the next thing going on here is our apple and onion jam. And I like to put quite a bit on here. And it cooks down so much, so really it ends up being about, oh, two to three tablespoons of this really flavorful mixture that just adds just a completely different element to a regular old ham and cheese sandwich. Last but certainly not least is about a cup of Swiss cheese. I'm using a Jarlsberg, but you could use Emmentaler or just any Swiss that you like. And we're just gonna heat this on because the best part about a hot sandwich is the melted cheese. Who are we kidding? Okay, now it's time to seal these puppies up. This is super easy and this dough is so forgiving and flexible. So I just fold them right over and then pinch down the sides and try to seal in all of that delicious filling. Okay, our insurance policy is to crimp these with a fork just to seal in every last bit and also just to make them look beautiful. And then they go right onto a baking sheet. Ultra easy, don't even have to grease it. It's such an easy dough and it won't stick to anything. Just lay those out like little meat and cheese envelopes. Okay, my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. These will go in and we're just a few minutes away from hot ham and cheese. All right, ta-da! About 10 to 12 minutes, depending on your oven, and we've got these gorgeous, evenly bronzed beauties that are just asking to be cut into. So, of course, we've got to cut one in half just so we can see all our good stuff inside and hopefully gooey, gooey cheese. Okay, ta-da! Gorgeous. So I love that we can see the layers of the Black Forest ham, that nice apple and onion jam, and then that nutty, buttery Emmentaler. So for me, this would be the perfect lunch, even a light dinner or after school snack for the kids. And it's all in one handy, flaky, buttery pocket using Pillsbury Crescent Seamless Dough.